We've heard a lot about the white gold rush at the Salton Sea. Lithium is called white gold for its silvery color, and there's a lot of it at the Salton Sea. As more of our lives go electric, the world is using more lithium batteries each year, and that means the world is turning its attention to the Salton Sea. But what does this rush look like right now? Morning anchor Angela Chin takes us down the geothermal plants. Lithium in You've the seen the headline, strike white gold at making a worldwide splash. The Salton Sea is an untapped treasure chest of lithium for all the sweet underground brine flowing through our rocks generated by the 11 geothermal plants there. The geothermal brine at the Salton Sea is unique in the world. The world is using lithium ion batteries at breakneck demand, from cell phones to laptops to electric vehicles, and with President Biden's nationwide goal of 50% electric vehicle sales by 2030, Tesla delivering a record number of cars in 2020, and a majority of automakers from Jaguar to GM to Hyundai going all electric by 2035 or sooner, and car sales projections looking like this, you can bet that we are going to need a whole lot of lithium to drive this green age forward. Uh, my hope is that uh, we're able to extract that lithium. We could ensure that we have the lithium that's necessary for our batteries when we are using electrical vehicles, which is going to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And that means finding a lithium source other than Australia or South America, which uses environmentally destructive methods like blowing up rocks to get to the juice, though this is not how companies around the lake will extract lithium. The Salton Sea alone has the estimated potential to provide 40% of the lithium used by the world. But nothing here is set in stone yet. We're still a ways off from seeing actual mass lithium production. If this is a baseball game, we're, we're still in the first inning, but we're pretty confident we're going to win this game. The three players around the Salton Sea are Cal Energy, which is owned by Berkshire Hathaway, Energy Source, and Controlled Thermal Resources, or CTR. The Salton Sea was the most proven developed field that we could find pretty much on the planet, really. CTR is an Australian company currently building an entirely new plant near the Salton Sea from the ground up, and it struck a coveted deal with GM to supply its future electric car batteries from lithium at the Salton Sea. GM, I think, cleverly looked at the supply chain. Just by doing an agreement here, they've removed 30 links to the supply chain. They, they don't have to source out of other countries, sent to China, get crudely processed. The earliest we could see lithium production would be by CTR in early 2024. Energy Source, which owns one of the 11 geothermal plants around the Salton Sea, also plans to produce lithium by early 2024. Berkshire Hathaway, which owns the other 10 geothermal plants under the subsidiary Cal Energy, is the biggest player here. It plans to produce lithium on a mass scale by 2027. We are the first news crew ever to shoot inside Cal Energy's plants. Now, if Cal Energy can prove that they can extract lithium on a commercial level, they will become one of the largest suppliers of lithium, not just in the nation, but the entire world. Cal Energy says when they're up and running, they alone will be able to provide 30% of the world's lithium. What would the amount of lithium be? We're producing about 90,000 metric tons a year. That's in a world market of 300,000 today. So Berkshire Hathaway uh, would be not only number one in the United States, but really quite competitive with companies that are producing lithium in Western Australia and in South America. Right now, this is the breakdown of the world's lithium production. You can see the U.S. not in the game at all. But how these Salton Sea companies will extract lithium is an entirely new process. This is an untried method that has never been done on a commercial level before. To understand how these companies will be doing this, you have to understand how geothermal energy works. The Salton Sea is prized for where it sits, on land with one of the highest levels of geothermal activity in the world. The Earth's magma superheats water underground. These geothermal plants then drill down deep into the Earth, pump up the brine, and use the steam to generate power for our homes and businesses before depositing the hot fluid back into the ground. But now these companies will add technology that will filter out the lithium in the brine before returning it back to Earth. And with all this excitement for what could be, what does this mean for the Salton Sea area? 
All companies have said there are no plans to donate money to any sort of lake fund, but success with lithium means building the Salton Sea area up. If we go commercial, we will be looking at hiring a large workforce. We want to hire locally as much as possible. If this is wildly successful and you get more supply chain development, such as battery manufacturers or anode cathode manufacturers, that would lead to even more jobs, which in turn leads to more housing, that leads to more restaurants and the like. And that is the point, isn't it? Revitalization of the Salton Sea also means revitalization of the people. In Calipatria, Angela Chen, News Channel 3. And when it comes to lithium extraction here, geothermal experts want to clear up a misconception. They say the lithium does not come from the saltiness of the Salton Sea. It comes from the superheated fluid deep below and is possible because of the geothermal process.